Much love to every subscriber tapping into our interviews. If you ain't tapping in, you tapping out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for post notification and hit all. Enjoy the clip, everyone. Use jeans, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? It's the vibes. Man, everything is Gucci, man. Listen, I want to start this off by saying, you know, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, you know, have you come on my platform and help tell your story, all right? So fun. Well, you know, so here on P Films, you know, we try to help the viewers get to know Use G's the rapper, but also Use G's the person, all right? So there might be some personal questions, but it's only to get, you know, the people that love you and what you do, a better understanding of you on a deeper level, all right? That's so fun. Bet. So I know it's your first uh, P Films interview, so... Uh, let's take it from the beginning. You, I, I know you're from uh, Mott Haven um, in the Bronx, right? So far. Got you, got you. I was um, watching one of your interviews. I seen it. I seen you kind of say you also you moved from Brooklyn to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? So talk about that time. Like, what was it like in Brooklyn for you? How old were you when you moved to the Bronx? I was nine. Young. Yeah. I was like six, seven. Okay. Gangster. Wow. And you moved with your mother? And I moved with my mother, yeah. I was on vacation when they moved up. Feel okay. me? Came back. They already had moved over here to the Bronx. Damn, you didn't even get to say bye to the people out there in Brooklyn? Yeah. Nah. I guess you didn't really know I didn't too really many... know too much people. Feel yeah. me? I was too young. Okay, okay. Bad. So where were you where were you on vacation at? I was in Africa. Got you. What what was it like? Like the difference from being in Africa and being out here? It's a big difference, man. Yeah. It's too much shit that we got out here that they don't got out there, feel me? Mm, some resources. Yeah. Got you. What part of Africa, Africa were you at? I was in Guinea. Got you. Got you. I hear a lot of people always be like, yo, man, um, you know, I, I just want to go back home. I want to go back home. Um, would you say, like, you, you was happier over there or over here? No, I ain't going to lie. I was happier over here, man. I went mm. over here. Shit, they ain't teach me nothing but ruthless, man. Word. Gangster. Yeah. Think it's worse out here? Go out there. Crazy. It's crazy, bro. What's some of the things you've seen out there, even as a young kid? Niggas get their ass whooped every day. <laughs> In school, you get your ass whooped. Parents yeah. don't give a fuck. They let them whoop their ass. It's different out there, feel me? Facts. You know it's crazy because I'm Haitian and like that's the same thing over in Haiti. Right. They go, they will let anybody like if anybody you want to block, yeah, yeah. Anybody could give you a spanking and they cool with it. They are gonna believe the the adults over the kids right. any day. Anytime. Word, word. So you move to um, I know you you come back from Africa, move to my Haven. You know what I'm saying? Um, you get here. What is it like for you? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Everything changed, bro. Once mm. I came back, stores was different. It, yeah. First, it was a Kennedy chicken. Now, this shit called Texas. I never heard of that. <laughs> for me, it was mad different shit, my brother. Word. Thanks, That's I a should, fact. I had to, feel me, get new to the new, like, get I used to the too. new environment, feel me? Mm, got you. I always hear French Montana is from my haven. Is he? Yeah, he is fake. Wow. I heard that too, feel me? Thanks. Be seeing a man come through sometimes, but not really how often. Like, he come through sometimes. Okay. Feel me? Got you. Got you. I know um, a lot of times when I ask people this question, you know, they say my area was like every hood, you know what I'm saying? But when I ask you how it was going, how it was growing up in my haven, I would like to know, like, you know, your relationship with your parents, siblings, you know what I'm saying? Like more of like an intimate, like mm. what was it like in your household? And then when you stepped outside, what was that like? My household, we was just little kids, just feel me, little African kids, yeah. chilling, going to school, coming back. I wasn't really doing nothing as a little kid, feel me? But when I got a little older, that's when I, feel me? When I first smoked that first blunt. Yeah. That's when I, feel me? <laughs> start tweaking, feel me? I start kicking in stores. I start doing mad stupid shit, man. Yeah. How old were you at that time? I was like 14. Okay. 13, wild, thanks. It's usually around there. Oh, yeah. Word. You, you know, you spoke on your mom before. Um, How's, how's your relationship with your father as well? No, we had a good relationship. That's Pretty good. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Did your did your parents? I know them being African. Did they support your rap dream? Yeah, that's a fact. Really, that's I'm shocked. That's a fact. Wow. Because, yeah. like I said, my parents they ain't with My mom you. definitely she didn't understand that first for me. Yeah. She, you know, trouble, trouble. 
But then when she see like what it like do for me, for me, like yeah. she jogging it for me. She like is she she jogging it's cool. She seen the chain and that watch yeah, you got yeah. on, and that's seen, that was it. Yeah, she seen <laughs> what I gave her ass for me. She was like, oh shit. Yeah. Shit come with a lot after. You really feel me? Put exactly. your all into it, feel me? Exactly. All works pays off. Exactly, exactly. exactly.